Hello everyone, welcome to my next review. Now this review is of, hold on one second, I gotta, there we go. So this review is of my, fig, of the figures, I got one of the figures, my favorite figure, a Figma figure, number 203 Figma of Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan. Now each side has its own, like, unique this picture this is the back. It's got a bunch of pictures, some Japanese. Warning. For eight for ages over fifteen, thank goodness I'm seventeen. Otherwise I could not able be able legally able own this. English. Uh there's another one another one this top. This bottom. Yay. So now when I first got this Figma. It basically came in this box, plastic stuff, a bunch of crap, tons of different little things you can get. But the thing that shocked me the most, the size. Now, as you can see, I've got Mikasa in kind of like a attacking pose. I will move, I'll take her off the stand. The stand goes in her back, she's got like a little hole in the back right there. I'm kind of looking through both the camera and real life at the same time. Tons of mo like movable joints. As you can see, you've got joints at the toes. If you've never seen a Figma before, they are basically Japanese-made figure uh, posable figures that have tons and tons of joints, like regular joints. You've got ankle joints, knee joints, hip joints hip joints, uh, wrist joints, the wrist can kind of go all over the place also. Inside, if you saw, I'll open that up later, but head joint, uh, kind of belly joint, hip joint, elbow, shoulder joint stuff, head, neck joints, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff to go on over. But first, the size. It's tiny. I thought they were going to be a lot larger than this. Uh, let me take... Yeah, the blades actually do come off of the Titan pairing. Titan pairing blades, I like to call them that because I think that's what they're called. But the actual blade itself, if I can like detach it from her hand, it, it actually came with like special hands. That would like fit onto it. You know, I'm just taking her whole hand off. Uh, it came, yeah, her hand, they, she's got tons of like different hands for different things. But this hand, you can also take the blade off, as you saw it there. And also, this cable on the bottom, I believe, comes off. Yeah. Comes off like that. So you've got like the little handle grip. I'll show you this first. But like her hand, it's got like the two fingers that go inside. And just real tiny pieces, tiny, tiny pieces. Uh, let's put her hand back on. Uh, yeah. But yeah, there's that. And inside, and it's kind of a rubbery material, as you can see. I'm like moving it and all that. My thumbs are big and in the way. Uh, kind of rubbery material here. Like a hard plastic. But you've also got the back, which is more rubber, like here jacket stuff this is a cap for another item let me attach this loose wire and that came out of her hand uh excuse me one minute while i try to fix this figma I, it's kind of hard with only one thumb it's an injury i did i was being a genius when i did this i cut my thumb with a wood chisel i'm probably pretty loud because I'm hovering directly over the camera right now as you can probably tell because my arms are right here and it's very hot in my room as well but you've been there's lots of detail like I said you've got the little things here that have like the gas can little things there blade three blades each they don't come out and I just detached this from her leg but yeah they attach to her leg uh, and they were a pain to get in and they fell out I bumped the camera, but yeah. And then you've got these little things here, which is where the uh, arrow things go, which I'll show you later. But inside the jacket, you have like these little, this side's better, 
but you've got like the little uh, thing in the corner right there if you can see that that's where the wire goes like when it connects to this when she doesn't have those in her hands now let's get that all fixed up and whatnot and yeah, okay let's take that off you're annoying but there's tons of mobile uh, positions you can do you can take your head off like that head that has got a lot of detail too the, this face is like tacking face it's got neck joint but also you can change the face just by pulling the hair out at here that'll come out and you pull the face off and now you got headless Mikasa also the scarf comes off the scarf itself does come off and it does come with a collar for like other purposes as I'll show you oops like that picture there she doesn't have her thing on she's got the collar now after fiddling around with that oh yeah this is the like stand it came with three joints one there 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 and there three joints I'm gonna have to put all this back together which is gonna be a pain but inside the bag of goodies that Figma so gladly uh, uh, gave me is a bunch of items you've got a little plug here for something you've got extra string for these hooks here so you can like the plastic hooks that attach to I believe the yeah uh, plastic hooks that attach to like these things here that shoot the hooks so you can like do shots and pictures of her like in the air actually I should probably put her head back on probably do a different pose yeah but you've got three different faces you've got kind of a normal which is right here just kind of a normal face just get clo up close and personal normal face kind of an angry face uh, kind of a mad face and an angry face you've also got instructions in Japanese which I do not read you've also got five sets of hands kind of this sprayed out hand uh, this kind of close one this one that holds stuff uh, I don't know what they hold you've also got a closed fist here's the collar that goes around her neck which I'll probably put on uh, is okay let me get her head back on first that's kind of bothering me cuz you know headless but uh, the face basically goes on there. there's some stuff and I know you're probably not able to see it cuz I'm jerk and whatnot so I'm gonna put her collar on if I can get it on there it goes it's on now her collar is on and her scarf is off. Mika says has a head again. I'll also take off the 3D, actually not yet, not yet. I still got some stuff with the 3D maneuvering gear to show you. But it comes with a, oh yeah, that's what the plug's for. But it comes also with a scouting regiment. You probably saw this in the background. Scouting regiment, like the poncho things with the hoods it's it's like the rubber material like everything else but it does do that which is an issue I believe I already had to glue back on these rubber thing this rubber thing because it fell off but it's got like a little hook underneath that goes on her back here and that's what the plug is for so you can kind of like just stick it on there and it'll be all fine and dandy You've also got this is kind of a gas stream, which I'll show you in a second if I can get these. These themselves are the wires. As you can see, they're same size, same size, but they're fairly large, and they stick in these things here. If I can, kind of delicate, so be careful. But as you can see, there's kind of like the shot and there's also these pieces which are like little gas shots that 
go over them. Do I have it right? Hold on. I gotta move it above. Yes, I got it right. Okay. Little gas shots that go over that and then you can slide this in up front if it works or if it wants to work. Okay. I'm not a professional reviewer as you can probably tell. I suck. But I just like to show stuff and ramble because, you know, it's what humans do. But as you can see, it's got like the little gas shot and stuff. Adds a little length. It's a little kind of unstable, but who cares? It looks good. And it's kind of like a foggy plastic. Like a clear plastic, but they added a fog over it. There were two. But I don't know what happened to the other one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see if I can't actually keep Mikasa in frame now, because I'm like pulling her down, I think. It also came with this little stand. Yeah. But on the back of the. I had 3D maneuvering gear. It's got like movement and stuff depending on how the legs go. But yeah, on the back of the 3D maneuvering gear, on the actual back, there's this little thing here that actually pops off, that pops off, it pops off, I know it pops off, there we go, I have to get my thumbnail in it, but it pops off, see, and there's a little hole in there, which is where the gas stream goes. This stream, it goes directly on the back, so you can like, do poses, and whatnot, and it's got a little hole on the back as well, so you can place the this on there and like position it so it's not totally off balance and fall over. You can't see that, but like you can place it on there and stuff, so it's totally not off. There we go. She's floating. Yeah, stuff. It also come, came with an extra hand joint, which I was thankful for. I didn't lose one, but it's still nice to have. So yeah, I've gone over basically all the little details of everything. Except a few little bits and pieces which aren't too important. Just like this little joint thing here and other stuff. But I'm going to take off the 3D maneuvering gear to show you what that itself looks like. As kind of, the 3D maneuvering gear itself was kind of a pain because of like all the rubber and stuff and there's this part here where it's attached to her sides and also her back now if I can get this off without breaking anything that'd be good I'm always like so paranoid that I'm gonna break something when I do this as you can see on the back it's got like the little metal I probably didn't have her even in view just because I was trying to but it's got like the little metal plate on back you can see kind of underneath like the shirt you can see the handle things there it's thumb the little handle things there where that's going I'm gonna change your hands out and stuff but the 3d maneuvering gear itself as you can see, it's basically rubber stuff, the wires, all that. And the wires, like, they'll attach inside. I don't want to do that. But yeah, it's basically Mikasa, the Mikasa Ackerman Figma from Figma. And I've got a mess to clean up before I do my next review. It's gone on a little long. I'm going to put her fists on so I can get the uh, salute pose because I want to do that because I haven't changed like her pose in forever and my hand got in the way of the camera so she's got her she's got fists she's ready to punch you she's ready to punch you she's ready to punch punch I punched the camera it's always fun but yeah Mikasa Ackerman so final verdict it is a very very nice figure I paid on Amazon probably like 
65 bucks it was like a few bucks off but it does vary price like I, I've seen it go for like 45 and 60 six 70 bucks and all that stuff but the price does vary on Amazon uh, she is I think one of the cheaper ones you can get there is uh, Aaron Levy Armin and Mikasa I think Aaron is, no Armin I think is the most expensive but there we go Mikasa on the stand and pose pose but yeah incredible detail on such a small piece like it's definitely well worth the 60 some bucks I spent for it now after I'm done posing her there we go okay so that is the Meeks Ackerman I give this an awesome out of awesome I've never rated anything before it's the only time I'm gonna rate something an awesome out of awesome but yeah, Mika Ackerman, subscribe. I'm done.